Imagine a person is driving along and he gets into a severe car accident. He spends months and months and months in the hospital and surgeries and in painful rehabilitation. After one full year, he's able to walk out on his own two legs. What do you think his level of Akara Satov, appreciation of gratitude to God would be? It would probably be off the charts. But now, take ourselves. What happens when we drive from point A to point B and maybe an uh, 18 wheeler swerves into our lane and we narrowly avert a big car accident and we get a hot, a lap full of hot coffee and we're thankful, thank you God, thank you God, oh that was awful. How long does our gratitude last then? And now what happens if we drive from point A to point B completely uneventfully and nothing happens at all? We simply complain about the traffic. How is it that the more pain, the more obstacles, the more challenges we sometimes endure, the more deep and lasting our gratitude is? Somebody once went over to a rabbi and said he was making a small kiddish for a baby girl that his wife had just had. And he said, why are you making a small kiddish? He said, I don't know, I'm just making a little kiddish, a little celebratory appreciation to God for the baby. And he said, let me ask you a question. If it had taken you 15 years to have this baby girl and you un endured months and months, years of procedures, you and your wife, and lots of prayers and segulas and every possible means and method, to have this baby and finally God granted you a baby, what kind of kiddish would you make? He said, obviously a very large one. So he said, then how is it that if God spared you from all of that, all the waiting, all the pain, all the prayers, all the obstacles, all the challenges, and you were granted a baby right away, why are you making a small kiddish? You think it would be the other way around. And then our own lives too. Sometimes we have to be shaken from complacency, from apathy, simply to appreciate everything that God has given us. We begin the morning with a prayer, a quick thank you to God for simply just waking up. It's a good way to frame our day, to remind ourselves that when everything is going good, it's really good to say thank you. And when things are difficult, we turn to God and ask them to be better, ask for clarity. But to ignore the reality when things are good and we drive uneventfully from point A to point B without taking a minute out to say thank you, is really to live in a world without a sense of gratitude. And gratitude is the foundation of Judaism. You know, we have a bracha, we have a blessing when we walk out of the bathroom, when we smell a flower, hear the clap of thunder, even see an old friend we haven't seen in a while. It's to remind us to connect to something larger, to show our appreciation, to show our gratitude. Why not take a few minutes out of our day, every day, simply to say thank you to God for when everything is going well. I'm Dr. Dave, and thanks for watching.